morning. My name is Brian Cusworth. I'm one of the fourth year radiology residents here at Mount Crown Institute of Radiology. I am just arriving at work and this is a day in the life. Yeah, and also like, what do you think about like the bowel on the Yeah, it's a little it's thicker. It's, it's, a, it's hyperenic um, or like hyper enhancing compared to other loops of small bowel and it's a little thickened as well. Yeah, a um, lot thicker and, and like, can you even make out no, bowel all here? It's no. kind of like, it's really, it's to really ill defined, yeah. Holiday spirit. Today we are on South Ultrasound, largely reading inpatient ultrasounds, also covering a couple outpatient facilities that will call us and we'll look at their scans. Um, and then uh, we'll have some procedures that, uh, that they'll ask us to do from the floor. Um, we have one ultrasound guided paracentesis that we'll be performing for somebody with large hemocytes. Um, yeah, it should be a good day. So when you're on the ultrasound rotation here, uh, obviously we do the diagnostic um, the portion, lots of scanning, hands-on technique stuff for us as residents. Um, but one of the beauties is that we do a lot of procedures here and the residents get exposure to that early. Um, there are two procedural based subsections of the ultrasound service staffed by admin and faculty um, with PAs that help with some of the workflow, but all uh, residents largely doing the majority of the procedures and sometimes fellows. Um, the, is, there are some superficial biopsy, or superficial procedures service with a lot of uh, fine needle aspirations and superficial biopsies. Um, but up here on the eighth floor, we will do uh, a lot of deep biopsies. So we'll do solid organ biopsies, uh, kidney transplant biopsies, native kidney biopsies, liver lesion biopsies, and random liver biopsies. Um, and then we also head down to our CT scanners. Um, and despite being part of the ultrasound service, we'll do a lot of uh, CT guided biopsies. So it is almost noon here. I am in our residency office. We've got Melissa, one of our coordinators in the back. Wave, Melissa. Say hi. Hey. Um, and I'm heating up my food right before our dedicated noon conference. We have a two-year rotating curriculum of uh, curated lectures by our different attendings. Today is a, one of the cardiothoracic attendings who is, it says like golden oldies or something. So he's going through his uh, probably about 40, 50 years of case files. Back to service, we kind of check in and see what was ordered over the noon hour. The fellows and attendings usually stay around service, cover the list. Um, there are often new cases that show up, new procedures that are requested on the ultrasound service. Um, I walked back in and attending was working on working up a, a paracentesis, a diagnostic and therapeutic study was ordered, um, but uh, the patient didn't have a whole lot of fluid, so we're probably gonna do a diagnostic tap. Um, so that will be coming down soon. We'll be covering the service until about five o'clock, a little before five o'clock, we'll kind of assess the state of things because the call team comes in at five and takes over at that point in time. Yeah, shaping up to be a good afternoon. I am obviously not in the reading room anymore. Uh, at about 4.15 p.m. today, the uh, service was pretty caught up. We knew that there was not much left to do, so we got to pare down residents on service a little bit. I had the blessing of being sent home, so I thought I'd check in one more time before I get to go be full-time dad. And uh, say I hope that you enjoyed the day in the life. Uh, we had a great time on South Ultrasound. Hope you enjoyed uh, a view of Malincrat.